Hello, my PPC family and friends. Pastor Brian again. Just for a quick bite. I know it's kind of early, hopefully, for most of you when you're getting this uh, before when our normal worship service might be. I just wanted to give us a word today, just something the Lord had put upon my heart, uh, just kind of by way of encouragement for you. I know many of you today are experiencing online church for the first time and uh, or will be uh, experiencing online church for the first time here in a little while. And uh, I just want to encourage you about how you might go about doing that. I mean, aside from obviously knowing where to go uh, on your uh, on the website, website page, PocatelBaptistChurch.com, uh, but also just knowing the live stream thing, refreshing your page until you see the live come up, things of that nature. I just wanted to share with you a thought from the Word of God about church. I know this is going to sound strange to some of you, and, and it may even be somewhat of an interesting concept that maybe you've never thought about before. Um, so I, I, I love this verse. Uh, it took me uh, 20 years of walking with the Lord before I really ran into this verse. I, I always, since I was a new believer, made it a desire. I always desired to be at the church. When the doors were open, when there were activities happening, whatever was going on, I wanted to be involved. I wanted to be at the church. And so this was not a hard concept for me. And I know for many of us, it, it, there, there's times. I mean, there's not a Sunday morning that a, a pastor... Uh, a true pastor, or somebody willing to be honest, wouldn't admit any Sunday morning, any given Sunday of any given day or year, wouldn't admit to you that we wake up the same way you do. Oh, man, do I really want to go today? Do I really need to go to church today? And of course, having online church makes it that much more difficult for many of us to really want to make that a uh, priority in our lives, a uh, uh, something in our lives that we want to uh, do. And uh, so I wanted to share with you a verse uh, specifically about our Lord Jesus Christ and what he felt about, if you would, church. Uh, it's one verse, comes from Luke chapter 4, and uh, it's verse 16. Uh, Jesus had just gotten done. Uh, he's returning now. In verse 14, it says, it says he returned in the power of the Spirit, and the, excuse me, returned into the, in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out the fame of him throughout the region round about, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. But then we get into this interesting verse, verse 16. And he came to Nazareth. Now this is where he had been brought up. That's what it says. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom... Excuse me, excuse me. I'll try to try that in English. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Now, what I find amazing about this verse is this is a boy. Uh, if you, oh, He's not a boy now. He's a man now. But you imagine this is a boy who grew up in Nazareth. He, this is his synagogue, his hometown church, if I can put it to you this way. And it says that he was, that as was his custom, he went to, sab, to, to synagogue on the Sabbath. Uh, that word custom, ethio in the Greek, literally where we get our word ethics from, means to be a habit. Something that you do, something that you've made a habit your whole life or, or you should make a habit, if I put it this way. So, in other words, Jesus made it a habit of going to synagogue on the Sabbath. Now, if there was ever in the history of the world somebody who could skip church, somebody could go, I'm just a little bit too busy for that right now. I'm a little bit, you know. I would think it would be the, the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. I think that he'd be pretty safe skipping a Sunday. But... For the rest of us, we should take him as an example, and we're supposed to live in, by his example. Make it a habit to go to church. So even though right now we're up against a time when we can't gather together in our, in our normal fashion and worship and fellowship together in each other's presence, many of us, and, and I hope most of you watching, are planning on joining us for a, a, a message online. And we're still going to have a song service. We're still going to have a message. We're still going to have all these things like this. So I just want to be an encouragement to you and tell you that to make sure you make that a habit and to do so. And just like your habit has been, I want to share a couple of thoughts with you, if you don't mind, about how maybe to do this online church thing. It's new for all of us. So don't think that we've done this before and we know what we're doing. It's just it's new for all of us. So. The first thing is this, when, when you're attending, or when you click on that live stream, uh, you know, just be prepared. Be prepared to worship the Lord God Almighty, uh, the same way you would if you were sitting in, in your chair in the sanctuary. Uh, having said that, though, uh, there's th certain things, habits that we have before we go to church, preparations that we make. So, one, 
start by obviously hopefully you are because you're watching this get out of bed and get dressed don't just sit around in your pajamas you wouldn't come to the sanctuary and in, in, in your nightgown or or, or or in your your pajamas whatever they may be and and for some of us that might be kind of embarrassing um just get dressed just like you would if you're getting up to go to church because this gets you in a place where you're ready to worship the lord you got the mindset of worshiping the lord Go through the normal Sunday routine. If you eat breakfast with your family before service time starts, eat breakfast with your family before service time starts. I know many of us, our Sunday schools are canceled. If you normally come to Sunday school, take time as a family. Sit down, read the word together, make a Sunday school a priority. Just do the things you normally would. And uh, the beautiful part about this is you don't have to hurry as much because you're not going to be late. It's right there in your home. Second thing is this, get the family together. Don't let people be in individual rooms saying, oh, I'm watching it here. Get the family together to the best of your ability. Open up the biggest screen that you have to live stream on and live stream it. Watch it and enjoy it together as a family. Um, in addition to that, with the song service, sing. Sing with your family. Uh, I know for us, we'll have the song list up before the services even begin so you can look up the, the words to those songs and sing along. Uh, don't be embarrassed. You're just with your family and there's nothing to be embarrassed about. In addition to that, um, just like you would, uh, you know, listen, give t attention to, uh, pay attention to the message, get into the message. If you would normally say the AMs, if you'd normal uh, AMs, <laughs> sorry, it's early. If you'd normally say the Amens, if you would normally be like, ah, oh, or you'd make them noise, feel free to do the same. And uh, you know, our chat's gonna be live. If you want to write an Amen on a chat, write an Amen on a chat. I don't have a problem with that. The point of the matter is this. We're all doing this together. We're all still worshiping in unity of the Spirit. And we're all still gathering together. So take the time to gather to this, this morning. Make it a priority. And just as Jesus made it his custom, don't let your custom stop. Don't get out of the habit of church just because you're doing it online. Well, I'll be praying for you all. I hope that you all tune in and we'll see you at our services later on uh, throughout the day. Uh, Lord, love you all very much. I'm praying for you. God bless you until we gather together again.